with the release last April from WWE after 31 plus years. I mean, you were there for so long. You right. said you were a bit shocked by a bit surprised. Did they ever give you like a reason of, of why it happened? Like Brawler 2 got released and Rotunda got released. I mean, a I bunch know. of guys got released. No, I don't know. I mean, Tony Chimmel was 38 years in the business. I was 35. Um, John D'Amico was 32. And I just had dinner, seen John D'Amico last week, went out to dinner down in Tampa and seen some of the referees and stuff. Wanted, they wanted to hook up for dinner and stuff and see each other. So it was great seeing them guys, a bunch of guys like Chad Patton, Charles Robinson and Sean Bennett and uh, Ryan Tran and John D'Amico. So it was great seeing those guys. And it's just, yeah, there's no reason. Like when I got the call, I thought it was going to be more of a pay cut. But, and then when it happened to Tony Chimmel and, and John D'Amico and John D'Amico, I just moved to Tampa knowing that I was close to, to the PC that you wouldn't even have to pay for my flight to come in. You know, I could, cause I was driving down there and helping training the reps. So I was working my shoulder out. I was injured for about six, seven months cause I had bicep and um, rotator cuff surgery. And I had Dugas in Alabama, they had Dugas in Alabama do it for me. Did a great job, but I was ready for WrestleMania. And then the pandemic hit. I mean, it was a great thing. It was like, wow, WrestleMania is in Tampa. I just moved to Tampa and so, I mean, it was all like, uh, it was just a complete shock. I thought it was going to be about more of a pay cut than a, a release. Did they give you a reason or was it just because of the pandemic they were just cutting all the old, like the old timers kind of? That's, that's what it was. I was just, I guess so. You know, they, they really just they just said, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're losing so much here. But then you're hearing the company did its best revenue and just its best things. And they're selling, you know, the network and just recently but a year ago i think they did that they were like best quarter ever you know yep. and they released like guys that were with the company for 30 some years it's insane like you're like okay pandemic okay that's a good excuse but then you look at their bottom line like you said it's like holy crap they had two of their biggest quarters ever in a row it's like yeah. like right. they didn't need to cut anybody right exactly i mean they, they took care of me on pay for a while you know for quite a few months and so that was very nice i mean they don't have to do that either but I mean, uh, you know, it is what it is. So it's just, you know, one door closes, another door opens up. You know, it's just, it's weird and calling Tony Chimmel and keeping in touch with him and his wife and his family. And and he don't work for the company either anymore. It's like, just, it's a weird feeling. You know, it's just like, wow. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please help me out and like this video. Then click the subscribe and get notifications buttons so you don't miss any of my latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Follow us on Facebook at The Hannibal TV for more live streams and videos. And while you're at it, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at The Hannibal TV.